Who's ready for the sickest, nastiest, sweatiest pulls? I'm actually sweating in real life. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. Everyone, do a 10 pull right now and you'll get Nahida. I'm just kidding, you won't get Nahida, but I just I just tricked you. Let's do the normal pulls first because those are the strat. Imagine. I, I know that I won't get anything. From the normals, nothing special. Don't worry. We're just gonna pull these bad boys. Okay. Yep. All right. All right. And yeah, we got nothing. And then, there it is. There it is. A one. A two. A three. A four. A five. A six. A seven. A eight. A nine. Yes! Nahida comes home. And a Noel. And that means I combo into another 10 pull for another five star back to back. And one more for the memes. There it is. Another Noel. And one more for the memes. Early. And a Bennett. Good. I didn't get her early. And one more for the memes. Toma, what the f are you doing in here, buddy? Nahida. She's so little. I've been waiting for you for ages. She's so little. I literally don't know what Nahida does. Everyone hold hands. So even academics can get into a fight. You can listen to their brains? What? I see everything. When will Mario finally land a solid job? Ah! So I can That's amazing. She's literally on a PC, like a key bind. She's literally on a keys. Okay, what's her charge attack? Oh! All right, we gotta go find this dendro cube. Do we know where this is? Here we go. Let's go fight it right now. She seems busted. All right, let me see here. Uh, what do we want to use on her? What do we, what do we want to use? Uh, what are your thoughts on this goblet? I need to get her stats up. Honestly, I don't even know. I don't even know what, what to do yet. I just want to use her attack, honestly. So if I go like this. So there's a, there's a bit of a range. You, you can't just map everything. Right? Like, this thing's already up. 2,000 damage? Oh my god. That looks so sick. Um, no rest for the wicked. Hey. Oh, what, what do you do? What, what are we supposed to do here? I, I don't know how to beat it. Oh, it's I gotta cleanse it. Imagine reading the directions. No. Oh my f***. In God. Oh yeah, I could just use your normal attack. Oh, that's yeah. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot she's a cat. Shut up. Shut up. I'm dumb. Okay, leave me alone. I knew. I knew that. Yeah, I, I knew that. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I knew you could do that. Nice. We got three. Nahida, Nahida, Nahida. Ascend, what do you get? She gets EM for ascensions? Cracked. Nowhere to hide. The linking of them is pretty far. The, that, that linking? That was from like here to there to there and they were still linked. That's not bad. Dude, I thought that, that was gonna be so clunky. And it really isn't. I was super worried about it. I thought it was gonna be so shitty. How many pulls did you do? No comment. I got it right away, but I might have done something bad. Yes. 
I'm saving. I, 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 I'm saving. I'm saving all my wishes for her C2. <laughs> no. Honestly, like, again, at the end of the day, there'd be nowhere that defense shred would ever matter. See, okay, can I explain something? Here's the, here's the, here's the sick thing. The gamer in me looks at this, looks at this, I read this and I go, oh man. And then I read this and I go, oh my God. And I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking about the math and I'm like, oh my God, I see the potential. And so the gamer in me wants this. And, and behold, you almost, you almost got me. But then I realize, there's no point to it. And so then I, I can usually at some point bring myself back and realize, okay, I should probably get Dia or, or one of the new characters because they're going to be fun to play with instead of more damage that I'll never need. You know what I'm saying? I've been pulling though. I, I wasted all my wishes. I wasted all my wishes. I used more than I should have. I used like 40 wishes. I'm into pity now. I got to stop. I, I realistically, I should stop. I want, I want it, but... If I would have got it at like 40 wishes, I would have been like, okay, I got it somewhat early, we're good. Now, I, I, it's time to stop. Make a portable waypoint? I, it's like two steps, it's fine. She, she like twinkles. Oh my God, that's so cute. She got a melody. Oh, I love that, that's so awesome. Yeah, it's really cool. It's just really faint. I was like, can I hear something? We've got Nahida. I'm assuming. Oh! Let's go! You, you dendro gem. Don't mind ever do. So I can just go like this. Everyone hold hands. <laughs> can I literally just go like this? I see everything. Bro, that is so sick. Oh my god! Farming is gonna be different. Let me tell you that. Oh my god, that's so sick! Lucky? Alright, let's do it. Let's go get her ascended! And then let's go to the abyss. So is Nahida worth it? Uh, it appears that way! So she got another 29 EM there. Did she get another 29? That's not bad. Oh, I can't even do this. I have to fight this boss to get it. Interesting. All right, let's go do the spiral abyss. Let's try it. That's following order. New oh, punches. Yeah, Incoming. Cut to the chase. I just hit 30,000 damage of that. Oh my god. No Let me see this. Oh no. Don't blink. Oh, I mean Dude, it's so fast. Wings of darkness. Come, sever She just hit 30,000 damage? Wait, is there a buff for Nahida? Like is there is there a Dendro buff? She's level 6 talents. And I don't even have a Dendro cup on right now. I mean, they're low level. They're low. Level. Whatever. Let's just keep going. Hey, the temple of wisdom. Yeah. No rest for the wicked. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I know they're low level, but it's just so satisfying. Oh my god, they're just popping. They don't make archons bad units. Yeah. Okay, on to the next floor. Let's see. I want to see on floor 12. Everyone hold hands. Dude, it's home. so fast. Go, it's just like an instant. It's just like an instant proc of it on all the enemies. Oh my god, it's. Yeah, it's just like instant. Let's get down to business. With sword comes shadow. Let's move out. Wings of darkness. Come, sever night. Everyone hold hands. Covenant of the deep. I summon the Hook. Nowhere to hide. Speed of light. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Incoming. 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't even have anything to say. I see everything. The Temple of Wisdom. Rest and revamp by Royal Decree. Speed of light. Cut to the chase. Don't blink. <laughs> As you wish, main for life. Everyone hold in. This is the fastest I've ever beat this. She is so good. The extra EM is just is just so nice. Yeah, I mean I, I messed up the 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 rotation there, but the uh, EM is really nice. This is floor twelve, so there's no Nahida boost. Okay, let me see how I can melt this guy with just this. So without being in the ultimate, I'm not getting as many many uh, procs of this. I see everything. He's still gonna be in there. I don't even know why I'm not doing that. With sword comes shadow. Speed of light. Nowhere to hide. Incoming. The Dendro application does seem all right. Really, it, it does seem all right. I mean, terrible dodging, but the uh, the application solid. Uh, I want to use her on the other side, and I want to use her in this team. I want to use her in this team here, and just see how it goes. Take yourselves at home. To everybody, stand back. Coming, Sato Ark. Suyu, Cascade. I'm getting sick. Oh shit, I messed up. Teamwork is dream work. Boba, get them. The Temple of Wisdom. Don't even hold in. I got knocked off. Be still. Mind the day what account is this? It's my it free to play god account. It procced, it procced and killed all three of those units. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a second here. If you don't realize what just happened, there was three different units spread out weak. Her dendro reaction procced hitting all of them, killing all of them, and it probably saved me five seconds there of running from one to the next to the next, 10 seconds maybe. She actually has some very, like, I'm really curious about Venti, her, and then like some reactions. Like Kazuha or Ganyu, I don't know what, but this could be really interesting. She does AOE damage essentially to everything on the map because you just spin around and hit everything. I, I don't know. I'm actually like really impressed. I don't know if this is faster than the other team. Maybe my editor can get the the times, but still, it's it's pretty fun. I do need to test Nahida with Ride and Shogun. Yes, I do. I don't know what to think. I honestly don't know what to think. There's just so much going on. Dendro MC C6 is available. Yeah, and I don't, uh, I, I need to do the quest. I'm 
Just so many damage numbers, bro. She works in multiple combs. She works in multiple arenas. Big enemies, little enemies. She just works everywhere. Or, or, or even if I was using Kazuha instead of Venti. And then I was doing like something like this. Teamwork is dreamwork. Run with nature. Clouds hide. The birds. The depths beckon. Oh, see, everything just everything just died already. Into the wind. Everybody, stand back. Let's light it up. Like these guys are almost dead already. I, I haven't even like done any reactions. Be still. Huh. I, I don't know what to say here, man. Uh, Nahida's crazy. I, I think she's gonna be absolutely crazy. The EM. Just the, just the damage she's doing. She's not even built fully. And she's crazy. Alright, you want my review? Here is my review. My first thoughts on Kusanali, on the Dendro Archon, is get her. I, I was joking around with this. <laughs> Should you get Nahida? And the answer is yes. The answer is yes in almost every situation that I can see. She's crazy. I, I think she is crazy, and I highly recommend her. I'm using her at six and six. Some of the times she was putting up are similar to my full-on whale, like Kazuha type teams. Like my, my best teams that I farmed for a while, I was using Kaching, I was using Fisher, I tried riding Shogun, I used Ayato and Shang Ling. I used multiple different teams, multiple different comps, and I'm beating things with absolute ease. The one thing, about Nahida that goes underappreciated, underrated, is when you use this ability and link everything up, they're all taking damage. They're all doing these reactions. And there's multiple floors where there was an enemy over by those rocks, in the middle over here, one over there. They're all linked up and they all die at the same time. It's almost like having Venti sucking everything up, but they're at a distance, if that makes sense. They're all dying at the same time because of that link. And so her her wave clearing is in insanity. As long as you can take those enemies and do enough damage, it's gonna save you tons of time in the abyss. Now, the other big thing is this talent here, giving 25% of her EM or the highest party member means you can stack EM on her as best you can. I've got 739, I could get more, but I don't have uh, you know, good enough sets to, to stack the EM the way I really want to. You can use someone like Kazuha on the team and get some swirls going and he can have the EM. I can get more EM, I, I took one of them off, but uh, I could get more EM and he could transfer over 25%. You can use her, if you didn't want to do her as an EM booster herself, you could technically use some more damage items. You can go with like a Dendro Goblet. I've got a crazy Dendro Goblet. And she still is going to hit hard. And I think that Nahida brings value to every team there's ever been. Like pretty much every team there's ever been. If you're doing reactions, you win. She's amazing with Electro units, Ride and Shogun, Kaching, Fischl, absolutely cracked. But I used her with the typical vaporized type teams and it's still crazy. This thing here, if you do stack EM, gives you some extra crit and extra damage on your reactions. And the crazy thing that happens is if you do stack EM, you have to remember that with Dendro and Electro, when you use the Aggravate and the Quicken Reaction, it is a flat amount of damage that goes on top. Right? And so in the case of Nahida, she's getting the flat amount of damage, but she's also getting 190% more of said damage. So her, her flat damage is getting boosted almost 200%. And what ends up happening is if you do a ton of reactions, that adds up real quickly. And so, yes, you can build her with crit, and she's versatile and works, which is amazing. That's fire that you have that way to build her. But if you do have a bunch of artifacts, maybe you've got the, the coveted elemental mastery, triple elemental mastery with good substats, that works too. You boost up everyone else's EM on the team. She gets some crit rate and crit damage stats throughout, yada, yada, yada. But because her EM is so high and you're doing a ton of reactions, she's just generating, she's just churning out little hit, little hit, little hit, or I should say big hit. Realistically, they're big hits. Uh, over and over and over again. Here's the other thing. Here's the beautiful thing is if you look at her talent, if you look at this burst, uh, sorry, this burst ability, 
When using Electra units, you can do the Tri-Karma Purification, which is essentially her reactions uh, when they're tagged from her E ability or Inner Burst or whatever. When you're using Interval or uh, Electra units, the Interval is decreased from like 2.5 seconds down to two seconds at this point. But if I level this up, I, I, I can get it even faster to the point where I'm getting it under two seconds per reaction. And so I think that the Dendro and Electro teams with her are gonna be very fun to play, very meta. You can use the Aimiko, you can use whoever the hell you want. And you're gonna have a fast and furious team. I don't think she's like, Obviously, if you use a Hydra unit, it's fine, but there is massive value in using her with Pyro units and doing like a Vape Comp or a Melt Comp of some sort, and there's major value from the Electro. Her uptime is so insane already that the Hydro duration extension is, it's honestly negligible, like negligible in my opinion, because uh, if you look at this thing, the base duration is 15 seconds and the cooldown is 13.5. So if you're doing enough reactions, uh, especially if you're using Electro units, you're going to have enough energy coming in if you have anyone with a Favonius item, you have 100% uh, energy. It's so good. It's it's so, so sick. I knew she was going to be good, but the fact that she's so versatile is exactly what I was hoping for. So, pros of Nahida. She makes every team better. Does she make every team better than Kazuha? I'm not going to say, I, I don't know what the math is. But if you put Nahida on a team, they're going to thrive. That's all there is to it. The reactions are better. The damage is better. She hits really hard. I, I, I don't even have her fully built. Like, I'm going to double crown her, and she's going to be even more valuable. I was already stomping the Abyss at level 6. And on Ascended Fully, she's going to get more EM, more stats. She's already crazy. And I would say that some of my artifacts are a little bit scuffed to, compared to where they could be. So she makes every team better. She's versatile in build, uh, builds. There's different weapons you can use. There's different artifact sets you can use. Like Deepwood absolutely was good. But the other set, this one here, you could use this one as well. All day long. You can use Noblesse if you wanted. Realistically, you could use the Noblesse set. Or Noblesse set or whatever you want to call it. Uh, this one here. You could use this. And you're still going to be getting a lot of value for your team. As for Constellations, um, they do sound amazing. Like C1 sounds really cool because you essentially get an extra party member uh, of every element, meaning you can max out all of, all of the bonuses, the duration, the bonus damage from Pyro, as well as the uh, frequency of the reactions. And then this one, this is really cool. Your blooms, hyper blooms, all this, it can crit, which is really cool as well. Burning bloom, hyper bloom, all that can crit. And you shred their defenses when you use quicken or aggravate. Uh, or spread, which is, I mean, a defense shred is amazing. That's why uh, Raiden Shogun C2 is so amazing, because it, it shreds the defenses and makes it cracked, right? But this game is super easy. I'm stomping everything at C0. I don't think you should do it, because, uh, like, if you want it, do whatever. But there's my Nahida. I'm happy with her. You should get her. I would recommend her. There's not much more to say. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.